Once upon a time, a long time ago, in a faraway land lived a small donkey. In fact, she was the littlest donkey. Even though she was small, she had the same desires as all the other donkeys, that one day she would serve the humans like all the others. But being a small donkey made her a little mean, and she refused to let anyone ride her. In need of a donkey. I have many fine donkeys to choose from, except for the runt over there. Yo! You cursed donkey, no one will ever want you. I want that one. One day, the littlest donkey's father came to visit, and they sat and talked. Father, will I ever be big enough for anybody to want me? Well, little one, you're just like your grandmother, and she was very small. But she found her place in this world, and it was a very special place. I don't remember Grandma much at all. What was so, what did she do so special? Well, I guess I never told you the story because you were so young. But a long time ago, a young couple that were pledged to be married came along, and they were looking for a donkey to help them make a trip. And she was very young, and she was very afraid. But as things, as time went by, she realized that everything would be okay. <coughs> and now, we go back 33 years in time. God sent the angel Gabriel to a virgin who lived in Nazareth, a town in Galilee. She was engaged to marry a man named Joseph from the family of David. Her name was Mary. Greetings. The Lord is with you and has blessed you. Don't be afraid. I am an angel sent from God. This is the message I have brought from the Lord. Mary, because God is pleased with you, listen, you will become pregnant. You will give birth to a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great, and people will call him the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of King David, his ancestor. He will rule over the people of Jacob forever. His kingdom will never end. But how will this happen? I have not known a man. The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will cover you. The baby will be holy. He will, he will be called the Son of God. God can do everything. Let this happen to me, what you say. And though Mary was very scared, she began to believe that everything would turn out all right.
could never think about It's hard to count it all joy Distracted by the noise Just trying to make sense Of all your promises Sometimes I gotta stop Remember that you're God And I am not so Thy will be done Thy will be done Thy will be done Like a child on my knees All that comes to me At that time, Augustus Caesar sent an order to all the people of the countries that were under Roman rule. The order said that they must list their names in a registry, and everyone went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph, are you sure we can afford a donkey? Mary, you're having a baby, and you may need to ride the donkey to Bethlehem. I can still walk, but maybe the donkey could help carry supplies for when the baby comes. We're looking for a donkey. I have many fine donkeys to pick from. Look around. We can't afford your best donkey. What's the cheapest one you have? Well, you can get the fronts over there very cheap. Oh, that one's perfect, Joseph. But it's so small. But there's something about this donkey that I know is right. The young couple travel to Bethlehem, and Mary becomes very close to the donkey. As they came close to Bethlehem, it is evident that Mary is time, close to time for birth. Mary, it's not much further. Are you sure you can make it? I'm not sure. The baby is coming. Little donkey, can you carry Mary the rest of the way? <laughs> My wife is having a baby and we need a room. We don't have any room for you. You could go in the stable or can't you drive one? 
That'll be fine. That way I won't have to leave my donkey behind. It's fine. It's fine. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in clothes and placed him in a manger, and the donkey even helped announce the birth of the Christ child. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. for everyone. For today in the David a Savior, Christ Lord, you shall find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes lying in a manger. Now go to Bethlehem and see what has come to pass. Glory to God in the highest. Now after Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea in the days of Herod and king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and have come to worship him. We have brought him gold, frankincense, and myrrh. by me forever and love me I pray bless all the dear children in thy tender care and fit is for heaven to live with thee there And now, our story comes back to present time. And now, your grandmother realized that that baby was the newborn king. And she would go on to serve Mary and Jesus, her son Jesus, for many, many years. And now that very same Jesus, he is a great teacher in the land. Maybe you're right. Someone will need me someday. (laughs) 
As the years passed and the donkey is still unwanted, unwanted, unridden, she has given up hope to ever serve the humans. Jesus, and I am in need of a donkey that has never been ridden. You are the one I have heard of, the one they call the Messiah, King of the Jews. My Lord, this donkey here is the only one I have, but you don't want her. She is the one. I will send for her soon. As you wish, Lord. So it was on this day the littlest donkey found its place, its purpose. For you see, the Savior had chosen her to be ridden into Jerusalem on Palm Sunday. It was that time Jesus would go on to give us the greatest gift of all, the gift of eternal life. He was crucified on the cross for our sins, but the story doesn't end there. He arose on the third day, and he is alive in heaven preparing a place for us. So you see, we can't have Christmas without Easter, but Easter is another story. So tonight, we celebrate Christmas. It's not just about the manger. Where the baby laid It's not all about the angels Who sang for him that day It's not just about the shepherds Or the bright and shining star oh. It's not all about the wise men Who traveled from afar It's about the cross It's about my sin it's about how Jesus came to be born once so that we could be born again. It's about the stone that was rolled away so that you and I could have real life someday. It's about the cross. It's about the cross 
It's about the cross. It's about the I want to ask you a question. Am I, am I on? Am I on? Ha, am I good? Yeah, I can. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, did you get a blessing tonight? Amen. Amen. That was a blessing. Yeah. You know, <clears throat> I think there were, a, there were a lot of stories being told. Uh, in, in this play tonight. Uh, what, the main focus was celebrating the birth of our Savior, Jesus Christ. But also there was a story there of, uh, of maybe that we might, uh, that might speak to us as well in that uh, sometime in this big old world that we live in, we can seem and feel pretty small and insignificant. And we asked ourselves, even as adults, not just children, but as adults, we asked ourselves, where is our place at in this world? And if we don't know Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, we'll never truly find the place that he made and designed for us. And only through him can we know uh, that, that place that he has for us when we accept him as our Lord and Savior. And uh, that was one of the things I think that spoke to me as I watched them practice and, and, and go through all of the different parts is uh, no matter what we've got going on in our lives, the Lord has a place for you. Um, I remember one of the lines was, uh, you know, she found her place in the world and it was a very special place. I want you to know that the Lord has a very special place for you in this world. The Lord also has a special place for you in heaven. Scripture reminds us, again, that he has gone to make a place for us. He said, my father has a mansion, and in that mansion there are many rooms, and he's gone there to prepare a place for us. And he made a way for us, and that way is Jesus Christ. And that's what we're celebrating tonight, and that's the story that these kids just so wonderfully told and uh, what's that other scripture that I, I and, a, and a little child shall lead them and a little child has led us tonight and I'm so thankful for that so if you're here tonight and this place spoke to you there was something in this and it spoke to your heart and you know that there's some some things that you need to get right in your life plus some things you need to get right with Jesus we would love for you to do that I bet if you grab one of those little kids by the hand and ask them to tell you about Jesus I bet they could do it 